And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, temperatures this midday ranging from the uh, mid upper 70s to the east, 78 Peru, 78 Kokomo, 79 Lafayette, 82 in Covington, up to 82 Morocco and Kentland. We have a little bit more drier air to the west. That's what's causing the temperatures to be a little bit warmer. It's easier to warm up dry air than a little bit more humid air, which uh, dew points are about mid lower 50s to the east, a little bit more uh, dry to the west. Overall, though, everybody's seeing the sunshine. You can see some of the upper level clouds just faded away in eastern Indiana. That's where, again, the dew points were just slightly higher, but still very dry air with us. Here's a look at the current burn bands just added this midday Carroll County now underneath a burn ban that just basically means no open burning, no discarding of burning objects, you know, cigarette butts out the window could easily uh, start grass fires, brush fires, and just with the very dry vegetation area wide. Uh, fires can easily spread, so uh, be extra cautious out there uh, across the entire viewing area. We're going to be dry for today, tomorrow, next several days. Plenty of sunshine today though, 88 degrees, kind of like where we were at yesterday. We'll be still very low humidity. We'll have a nice moon tonight. The full moon was early this morning. Last night had some great pictures of the partial lunar eclipse and the super full harvest moon for September. Plenty of sun again tomorrow may have just a wave of clouds pass through very early. That may keep our temperatures not get as cool as they were this morning. Lower 50s will be up into the around the 90 degree mark for afternoon high temperatures. Northeast winds about five miles per hour. Again, another sunny day, wall to wall sun. We get to future cast though. We are clear today. The rest of today, tomorrow, going to Thursday, Friday, we are clear. Should be good for those high school football games. Notice the southerly flow. We will start to increase dew points coming up into the weekend, which will allow for more clouds too to develop. But it does look like we may see some rain chances start to come in as early as maybe late afternoon, Sunday, Sunday night. Uh, it'll be very spotty in nature. Best chances though for rain looks like to come in Monday and Tuesday, but a lot of this is going to depend on what happens to the south. There may be a hurricane generated late next week that may impact the influx, influx of moisture to us. So kind of a lot depends on the tropics for especially late next week. Uh, but the future seven day rainfall from the Weather Prediction Center is calling for about the possibility for a half to maybe one inch of rain. Uh, mainly this is coming in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. So we will certainly see how much we can get out of here, uh, but we are going to be dry, pretty hot, dry 90 Thursday, 92 Friday. And with the more moisture in the air, we'll be seeing highs lower a little bit there Saturday, Sunday, 82 Monday. Hopefully we can get some good storms in there, some rain, and then we'll uh, likely stay in the 70s. Highly dependent though on what happens in the tropics for next week, Stacy? The grass will just soak that up, won't it? Oh, it's yeah. crunchy right now. Yeah, the ground very dry, so any rain that we get is just going to get soaked up very quickly. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we'll need a few days to really do uh, any difference for us. But uh, regardless, we're going to be dry, hot, and uh, watching for rain late this weekend. And we had a beautiful moon this morning, oh, I want to mention. Oh, it was fantastic. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, very bright, very big. It was a super moon, which it's closer to the Earth. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. We had it some really cool. good pictures uh, sent in. So thank you for those who sent those pictures in. All right, thanks, David. Yeah.